All right, we're live. What's up, guys? David here, Andrew, the realest real estate agents in Hiroshima, coming at you live with our first broadcast. That was pretty cheesy. Also the cheesiest <laughs> realtors in Hiroshima. What's up, guys? Uh, Ryoa House. We work for a real estate agent called Ryoa House. Yeah. And uh, been in Japan for quite a while now. Dave, right? How long have you been in town? Well, over five years now. Oh, my goodness. What you been doing? Been hanging out. Been hanging out. No, I uh, was going to shock some of you. But I came out here as an English teacher, bumped around a few companies, and ended up here. Pretty typical story. How about you, Andrew? Well, it's been about 10 years, and yeah, just worked a little bit in some different sports industries. Pretty cool. And uh, did a little freelance translation and interpretation, and then one thing led to another, and now I'm here. Now we're here. Now we're here, yeah. So I just came up on one year. Andrew's been here for a bit longer. Yeah. And uh, it's, been, it's been a wild ride. It has. So some of the things we want to address today is what we do at Real House. That's right. Our primary goal is to help foreigners find accommodation. Mm -hmm. We support them in doing that. How so do we do that? How, how do we do that, Dave? Awesome. That's you. How do oh, we do that? of course. You want me to? I'll cover that. Yeah. So well, let's start here. What, what are some of the hurdles? If you're a foreigner, you're trying to find accommodation. It's tough. Why is it tough? Um, well, first of all, they don't know that there's people like us out here. I'm going to switch the screen here if you take a look. Boom, we, uh, we've got these advertisements uh, that show uh, just basically some of the stuff that we do. Um, being able to not, if you're not able to speak Japanese, that's one of the biggest issues. So we help interpret uh, for our Japanese real estate agents and uh, as well as for our clients to be able to speak to each other. Cool. Yeah. So what kind of interpretation? What are some situations when the interpretation comes in handy? Well, when you want to look for an apartment, you got to explain the details of what kind of apartment you're looking for. Uh, we do a lot of rentals. Uh, you might think, oh, real estate, you must sell lots of houses. But surprisingly here in Japan... Um, it's all about rentals. Now. Rentals. The so renting market. Yeah. That's where it's at. Yeah, so we do... Uh, we, we manage almost... Yeah, over 20,000 properties. And um, that's really helpful for us being able to find, you know, Japanese people and expats as well, uh, places to stay here in town. So if you can't speak Japanese, it's okay. You got people here to support. Other thing that's written in this thing right there, you might be able to see is the guarantor, getting a guarantor. Uh, it's kind of a... Difficult situation. What, what's a guarantor, Dave? I was about to ask you that same question. So, <laughs> if you're a landlord in Japan and you have a person moving in, a guarantor is like a co-signer. They are now financially responsible to pay your debts if you were to vanish from the country or decide not to pay rent. Yeah. And that's a big hurdle for a lot of foreigners is they're unable to get a guarantor. Right, they don't know anyone. They, they don't. They don't know anyone, so who's going to be like, yeah, yeah I'll spot. cover you? I don't uh, know who would do that. I mean, I think about it, but that's a big decision. Big commitment. We use guarantor companies. <laughs> yeah. but people, it's tough to get a guarantor, even for Japanese people. Right. Unless they're like a direct relative or a parent. That's it's right. a big ass to go up to somebody and have you sign that paper. So we do have a good working relationship with a couple of guarantor companies mm -hmm. that lend their services to foreigners and Japanese people. And that helps you get your foot in the door and make the landlords feel more comfortable renting to you and opens up all sorts of fun possibilities. Right, right. So with that uh, sponsorship, basically it helps you get uh, apartments easier when you're not able to get those kind of, uh, you know, when you don't have that person that was willing to back. So, um, on uh, to our next slide we've got prepared here. Social media. Oh, that's kind of neat. <laughs> so we've been uh, testing out this live stuff recently. And uh, we're we, super good at Photoshop. Yeah. Our graphic design skills are, as you can see, <laughs> progressing. Next level. Just haven't figured out how to not cut off my head yet. So 
have to lean a little bit to the, I guess that's, that's my left, you're right. That is more natural. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep doing that. Just keep doing that? Yeah, okay. That's good. Uh, yeah, no, you can see there, we started a Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram page so that uh, we could let people know what we're doing. Uh, if we see a good apartment and uh, it's available, we want to let you know about it. Uh, events around town. Yeah. Uh, Everything we're doing, we'll try to post up there. If it's, if it's fun, it's interesting, uh, connected to real estate, we'll, mm -hmm. we'll try to throw it up there. So. Yeah. Yeah, much appreciation for all the support. We're getting more followers and mm -hmm. to our followers out there, thank you. Yeah, so if you just punch in my Hiroshima Live, you can check out some of the things that we've been doing the past couple uh, weeks, months, years. It's all there. It's all on the internet. It's a scary thing. <laughs> uh, but yeah, when we get a customer into the into the real estate agency who is really interested in our needs to find a place to live for their job or for their vacation. Uh, we, we have them go through like a, a step, uh, the steps in order to move. And uh, you can see this is a really small print, but just in a nutshell, we help them uh, find the place they want to live. Once they do that, we help them apply for it. There's, you know, paperwork. A lot of paperwork. A lot of paperwork. When, once you get to the contract, there's a lot of paperwork, but just one piece of paper for applying um, for a place to see if you are accepted. And then once you're accepted, then comes, you know, all the contractual paperwork and signing. Sometimes they like you to have that Japanese stamp. And then, uh, then after the, you know, initial rent and uh, fees are paid, you're ready to move in. So, yeah, it's a, uh, a big uh, hurdle and you guys might see from other YouTube sites out there that it can be, you know, a lot of work. It's a process. I think that people don't understand that you can't just apply and move in the same day. Right. You recommend, what, like two weeks? At yeah. Least two weeks prior to start the process, find the spot. Sometimes the first choice gets declined. You got to make sure you have enough time for a backup plan. Uh, just be let that be known. Yeah. yeah. We've had a couple of... Uh, three day short notice request and we can't always make it happen if there's not enough time. Nothing is impossible. But. But. <laughs> yeah. It's always better to be prepared. More time. Yeah. More <laughs> options. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, yeah, no, just uh, there's a lot of different things about the real estate world. We're still learning and uh, we want to keep uh, you, we want to keep doing more uh, with We've met so many people from different countries. We learned a lot about our customers, a lot about the business, and uh, we're gonna try to upload more information that will help you if you are interested in moving in the future. So, yeah, Dave, this is a good first. Yeah, cool little trial run. I think we'll try to do more of these in the future and make them more specified to certain topics and go deeper in that topic. We're just trying to see if the audio works. We're happy we're on here. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we got all the technical difficulties out the way and definitely we'll be putting on more content soon okay guys have a good one we'll see you soon is that the off button